Why does Audi recommend a 10,000 mile interval for oil changes? Oh, wait, hold on. We forgot to answer the viscosity question from whoever asked that. All right. So when it comes to viscosity, I would stick with uh, certainly for any like B9 where you're running, uh, you know, it's a factory engine and you're running our tuning and some other stuff. Even if you have a hybrid, I would still stick with the factory oil recommendations. Um, the only time you're going to want to start thinking about changing the viscosity is if you build a motor and uh, you change the tolerances inside the motor. Um, so this is, this is, a. um, over time, what we've seen is that uh, newer and newer engines run lower viscosity oils. Uh, and a lot of that is because engines are, are built and produced with, with tighter tolerances now than they used to be. Uh, so when you have really tight tolerances, you don't need a very viscous oil because there's the passages that the oil needs to go into are very small. And so that there's a certain viscosity that allows the oil to propagate and be all in the right places and create the right type of oil film that uh, the engine was designed for. Now, let's say you, this isn't happening, but someday maybe someone will take their B9 3.0T out and put G pistons in it and forged rods and they'll open up the bearing clearances and the forged pistons, G forged pistons have a higher thermal expansion coefficient. So there's going to be like more slop in that piston and you open up, um, you know, the bearing clearances because you know, you're going to be getting that motor really hot, putting it under heavy load. So as things expand, you're going to leave some extra room for that expansion. In that case, you're going to want to step up and typically like you're going to want to run like a 2050 synthetic oil or something because of those looser tolerances that you would typically build into a aftermarket racing motor. Um, so, uh, all that to say, if if you're still on a stock engine and rel, you know, I mean, I know stage I, one, stage two, power, stage one, yeah. stage two, even stage three, I don't. I, I, you can start playing with different viscosity. I think nothing terrible will probably happen, but you really don't know what's going to happen. Right. And uh, if if you end up putting too thick or too viscous of an oil, or an oil that the viscosity curve with temperature isn't what the engine was designed for then you could end up sacrificing and actually making your lubrication of your engine worse. Mm -hmm. And in your attempt to make it better, you could make it worse. Yeah. And there are a lot of different oils out there that, you know, in a given viscosity range mm -hmm. um, that have different traits, characteristics, temperature handling, <clears throat> additives. So you don't necessarily have to change <clears throat> viscosity to get some other characteristic of the oil you might be looking for. Yeah. Oh, can we, you guys run over to Mark's toolbox and grab the Daza intake, the inlet? Yeah, and then, you know, you could also take into consideration uh, where you live and, and what your climate is. So if you live, I mean, I know the North Pole is not as cold as it used to be, but huh. um, if you live uh, in the North Pole and it's always minus 50 degrees, then you're, you're, you're not going to run the oil that uh, Audi recommends uh, for most of the world. And, and then conversely, if you live on the equator and it's 115 degrees every day, you could also run a, a right. thicker more viscous oil you know so um but these are and i don't i don't know i haven't really looked, i haven't looked through a recent owner's manual they used to list they different did. oils they by by yeah. region and, and average temperature and also and, like and time season. of year and stuff yeah, yeah the seasonality you know, I, I don't know if they do that anymore but i know they New, that was normal newer um synthetic oils and all the additives they're they're very good so it's less common it's yeah and it used to be like 30 weight oiler you know it, 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 you didn't have the range and the the this, yeah. the you know technical uh, you know formulations that they have now yeah